right, and welcome back to a new video by the Dash Course platform. I'm Johan, I will be your host this, uh, this evening. And in this video we are going to talk about should we learn Objective C in 2021. Alright, so Objective C um, was the primary programming language for Apple devices before 2014. And in 2014 Apple actually um, introduced Swift. Swift is, um, is a language and how they described it. It's a language like C without the garbage of C. That was a little bit the idea and actually it works really well. The Swift adoption rates are through the roof. Uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of developers actually use Swift in their daily lives. And a lot of people actually don't work with Objective-C anymore. But is that the right choice? In my opinion, it's actually a great idea when you know Swift that you start working with Objective-C even in 2021. And the reason for that is that when you look at um, jobs on LinkedIn or on Indeed, a lot of uh, jobs and freelance jobs, they actually ask for Objective-C. For example, let's grab, um, I was looking on uh, LinkedIn. Here we have one from London from Air Apps. They look for a remote iOS developer. Um, they ask for five years of experience in professional software development three years in Swift and one year of Objective-C. And I think that the reason why they ask for somebody who has experience with Objective-C is because they have an application that is written or partially written in Objective-C and they actually are trying to move from Objective-C to Swift because that's also a possibility. Uh, a lot of companies who have like really old applications like for example, Facebook. I'm sure the Facebook application is not completely written in Swift. They probably use React Native, I think. I'm not sure about that. But before that, I'm sure they used Objective-C for that. And it's the same with, for example, Twitter or maybe Instagram. I'm sure those applications also use kind of uh, a kind of Objective-C and are not written in Swift entirely. And the reason for that is expenses. Because you know what they say, don't fix it if it works or if it works, don't fix it. And this is why I think it's a great idea to learn Objective-C in 2021. Like, let's take another one, like this one. Get Genomai Engineer, um, Engineering. Right, yeah. So they ask for eight years of experience as a software engineer and a minimum of six years experience for as an iOS developer. Okay. You have a high level of experience in developing mobile native applications with Swift and Objective-C. So that's a little bit the same. I'm sure they actually work um, they actually work for um, for clients who still have applications to, which are built on Objective-C. And they actually need people who know, who know how to read Objective-C, how to improve it, or maybe how to turn Objective-C code in Swift code. Let's see, maybe we have another one here. Place me recruitment. Here, this is another one. This is from Place Me Recruitment in Ireland. They are looking for an iOS developer. And they actually also ask for three to five years experience in Objective-C and Swift. So as you can see, there are, these are just three of the 92,670 results of iOS developers they are, they are searching for worldwide on LinkedIn. So, is learning Objective-C a good idea in 2021? Personally, yes. And there are a couple of reasons. The first reason is companies are actually still looking for people who know Objective-C. Second, it's good for your personal growth or for your personal experience because when you go to, when, you're gonna, when you are talking with like, mm, um, a recruitment uh, agency or you are talking with HR or you're talking with somebody else if it's only Swift on your CV you're just no Swift right but when you can tell them like hey listen I know Objective-C because Objective-C is actually a language that is not used very often these days and people are still looking for people who know Objective-C that's like an extra point for you on your CV or on your resume right because they know like, hey, that guy knows Objective-C. 
and we need somebody who, who, who knows Objective-C or maybe we will have a client in the future who knows Objective-C or needs Objective-C. So we have somebody who knows it, right? So for your personal experience, it's great for your resume, for yourself. It's really good for personal development because you're gonna say, because you are started to learn new languages and you are understanding a little bit how Objective C works. Like me, for example. Um, let me open it. I'm gonna open up Xcode really quick. Yes, I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller so that we can actually open two of them. File, open recent, Infinity. So, as you can see, I can take this away. Uh, this is the this is part of the code of my first iOS application. Uh, it was called um, it was called AdSurvey. It's an ad block for iOS and for iPadOS these days. And this actually only worked till iOS 12. After that, it stopped working because of the because of the the great differences in ARM because the new iOS like iOS 14 and 12 don't under, they don't support uh, ARM 7 anymore and they only support uh, 64 bits and as you can see on this side this is actually um, also Swift or um, this application actually written in Swift UI and now I'm actually translating my Objective-C to, to Swift as you can see we have some errors here but don't worry about it but this is actually why I think it's important that even in 2021 you know how to use Objective-C. Because you can you actually can help translating an app or you can actually build a full app in Objective-C when a client wants it. So, final question once again. Should you learn Objective-C in 2021? And I say yes. It's great to know. It's a great point on your resume or CV. And it's, it's just great if you can tell people that you know multiple languages, especially languages which are not very easy, like Objective-C. Objective-C can be really hard sometimes. So, uh, this is the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching it. I hope you guys actually uh, learned something or that you guys say like, hey, that guy is right, Jon is right. I want to learn Objective-C. And if you have some uh, questions about it or you say like, hey, Johan, maybe you can make an Objective-C video someday, just leave a comment down below. I am happy to help you with that. And one more question. Uh, according to YouTube, more than 95% of the people who watch my videos are not actually subscribed to my channel. So if you guys enjoy my videos, if you enjoy the content, if you and if you're actually learning something or you just enjoy um, hearing me speak about stuff, make sure to give me a follow. If you like the video, please give it a like as well. And if you can leave a comment, it's good for the YouTube algorithm. And this, this way I can grow DevScorch in a, in a bigger channel with more videos every week. And yeah, just help each other out. Okay, so thank you for watching and I see you next time.